and we're trash talking talking a little trash so anyway hi it's wednesday night and um i don't know about you guys but in my neighborhood wednesday night is the night we put out our trash barrels so i thought this is a perfect time to grab some empties talk a little trash with you guys and then get my trash outside but you know i'm old and um yeah sometimes i need a helping hand Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to see you guys. So thank you so much to all my subscribers for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would take just a quick second. Hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. I hope you guys leave uh, some fun comments for me. I so appreciate the time you take to do that. And of course, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. So anyway, today we're just going to do something fun for Wednesday. So I thought, why not dress up like Wednesday? Thanks to my good friends at Timu. Yeah, having so much fun with Timu, buying some all kinds of fun things. And uh, so I thought it would be fun just to do different things during the weekend just kind of maybe dress up as Wednesday here and there have a little fun with you guys but you know I was not going to do a one Wednesday today I was going to keep it clean while we talk about trash but you know I could not help myself my thino is getting ready to ship well I got the notice I think on April 12th that it was getting ready to ship but it's not going to ship probably till sometime this week but anyway I've got it's in two boxes because I did get some extras. So excited. You know, Nancy loves her Timu. So I thought, why not open a bottle of my Vino wine to make room for some new wine? So I opened up this Night Vine. And the first time that I got Vino, the first wine I got was from Night Vine. And it was a Moscato. Oh my gosh. It was so good. That's one of my favorite uh, Moscatos from Vino is the Night Vine line. But this one is a California all their wines are from California and this one is a 2018 a Pinot Noir. Of course you can see I got my aerator in here from Barbara Jean. Age is just a number with Barbara Jean so thank you so much and I uh, because I was kind of dressing up and I got this little thing here right but I cannot get him to stay on my shoulder. I'm gonna have to work on that. He's a slippery little devil and he keeps wanting to fall down and do other things that I am not ready to do with a hand here. So anyway, I went downstairs because I finally took my Halloween, my Christmas clothes downstairs. And uh, I had to break into it and get my little goblet here because I just thought he would be fun with the, the Wednesday theme. So anyway, cheers, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I hope your work week is going by issue free. Issue free is the best kind of work week ever. Am I right? Cheers, everyone. It's nice and fruity. Mm. This has got some really nice soft tannins. You said set oak right away. It's like uh, all under here, the top of your palate. Kind of dries out for just, just a split second. And then wham, the wine gets to the back of your throat. The acidity from the fruits just kind of comes alive back there. Your mouth starts watering. The flavors really come alive. I'm getting some heat. In here I'm thinking that's probably some kind of baking spice I never quite know what that is it could be like a cinnamon and allspice or a clove something like that but it gives some heat right here the fruits that I'm sensing in here are probably like cherry um, pomegranate maybe raspberry and then it's softened with a little bit of vanilla so it's very good and I think it's only like 12.9 percent so it's not really that strong but anyway we're here to do a little trash talking talking a little trash so anyway i don't always get to do my empties on a timely manner i've got like three grocery bags that's probably most of it sensi but i do have some skincare items and things like that here so we'll go through that so as you know i had some company last week so i had to do a little bit of cleaning so i used up the rest of this bottle of my sensi bathroom cleaner this is the blue grotto love this scent it's a really nice foam it really cuts through some grimy kind of scum and even though you don't use all the bathrooms because you're only one person and um sometimes 
the dust kind of builds up and kind of makes it look scummy too. So just cleaning around the sinks that I don't use and the bathtubs that I don't use just really made it nice and clean and sparkly and smell fresh too. So again, this is the Scentsy bathroom cleaner. And you know, I've never bought any. I've always just got them in the whiff box and I really need to finish my stash so I can get some more Scentsy. So I don't know if I've got more mask and another one of those other bags that I have, but I got a couple of masks in here. And this first one here was a weird eye mask that I've never had type before. I think this was in Glossy Box by Skimono. And, um, but it was really nice looking. It kind of like it went over here on the on upper eyelid and then underneath your eye too. It stayed on really well. It felt really nice. It was just kind of different because I'd never had one like that before. So, but I would definitely love to get it again in another box. I've got ones from like uh, the Creme Shop in here. I've got ones from Face Story. These ones are my new favorites. The Snail Honey Gel Mask from Style Vanna. Oh my God, I love that one. And of course, some more of the Creme Shop and Face Story, the uh, Everyday SI. And I think this was probably an extra in Ipsy Papa Ref recipe. So just a kind of nice mixture. And you know, last week when our daughter Raina was here, our oldest daughter Raina, and uh, her husband Jeremy, and granddaughter, my granddaughter Quinn, and my grandson Maddie Matt, and the they were in the teenage years, so a couple of nights we did face masks together, not Jeremy, but Rainer and I picked on mask, and then Quinn and Maddie Matt also had a mask on, so it was really fun. I think they used more like the mud mask, and I had one like was geared toward acne and younger people like that. So that was really fun, getting to mask together while we just kind of sat on the couch and reminisced and watched Hulu. Um, this is Grace and Stella. It's this a foam party on my face and you're invited. So it was okay. It was a nice foam. It did the trick. I think I probably did more double cleansing with this, even though I don't wear makeup every day. I just, it just kind of felt like it left a film on my face. So I did usually double cleanse when I use this one, but if it came in another box, would use it. And some more Scentsy. So this is the fabric softener. I love using their laundry products. This one is the Amazon Rain. It just really smells nice and fresh, kind of spa-like. And it's really concentrated. You only need a couple of squirts. Um, and of course, my loads are usually nice and small. So anyway, I enjoyed using this. And again, Scent Soft from Scentsy. And again, oh, I have, I have bought these before. I mean, I get them in the whip box, but I do love them. So I do buy them occasionally when I need some washer whiffs and these are kind of like the downy unstoppables so you use like a scoop uh, and it's like the crystals you put them in the washing machine and it just kind of helps your clothes um keep that scent a little bit longer so maybe maybe up to a week maybe a week and a half or so you go to get a fresh towel from the linen closet and you go to dry yourself and it's like oh it smells so nice or you climb into your sheets at night or you just grab a sweater you haven't worn and since the last time you washed it. And I just love the scent. This one was Jammy Time. Jammy Time is one of my favorite, favorite scents from them as well. And that was quite a bit. That lasted a long, long time. And I used that one of my Scentsy bricks. This one, and I know every time I pick something out, I say, okay, that's one of my favorites. This one, they don't have every time. It came out first in a, um, a special um, a special collection where they had the smaller ones. And then they brought some back in bricks. And this is indigo cotton. And oh my gosh, I love this one. Took me a while to go through because of course I had, you know, the other scents. I mean, you should see my stash. Well, you shouldn't because then you would think, what's the matter with her? She's just gonna, she's hoarding her scentsy. Oh my God, but this smelled so good. I hope they bring this back in a brick because I would definitely get it, even though I really don't need it. I use these uh, ampoules from Vimeo. And I had two different ones, and I believe I got these in add-on sales from Ipsy. Um, these are like the little glass ampoules. They come with a little plastic thing that you put on top so that you break it, which I really don't like having that. It didn't cut myself or anything like that. It's just I just don't like breaking it, and then you have to leave it open. Um, it, each ampoule is maybe like three nights worth for me, so or days worth. This one was a day one. It's called Matt Rescue. And again, you break just the tip off and then you just, you know, use a little bit and it does, it really feels nice. I love these. They feel really nice. 
and for the on the add-ons are always a great great price but you know when I open them up when I want to use it I have to kind of like bang it on my hand here to get any out and then I'll put it down on the counter but you know if it falls over it falls out it empties out I have no idea what that is but this one was called the Matte Rescue that one was the day one and really enjoyed using that this one was the same thing but the night repair so I think it's probably a little bit heavier so that you can use it at night and it's the same idea it says glass bottle you get that little plastic thing to break the tip off and um, yeah so I enjoyed using these these come up in another add-on I will definitely be buying them I love those Alrighty, so this was I forgot what this was so a Terra Mars but I used it it's a body cleanser alrighty so this I probably would have got in an ipsy could have been glossy but probably more than likely it was an ipsy I did use it all um, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it but if it came in one of my boxes I would definitely use it again this one is really nice it's Kate if I can reach my bag here this is by Kate Somerville and it's the goat milk the moisturizing cleanser and oh my gosh I focus please so I really did enjoy using this it just once you use this you rinse it off and your face just feels so hydrated so smooth so moisturized I probably got this in an ipsy and I would love to get it again in another ipsy or an add-on but always great to have those and um, I've got um, some of those little Scentsy um, ones that you kind of plug in next to your laptop or whatever like that it's a USB plug and then there's like a little fan that kind of gets those crystals and they kind of look like the washer whips the crystals that are in here but anyway I um, I actually threw them out but I saved the package this was jammy time and I like sometimes just using that as I'm sitting by my computer or in my small office things like that so used up that and we use some um, samples that I got in my whiff boxes so this was the uh, soft scent so again this one was fabric softener and in one of these bags there is probably the matching laundry liquid this one was aloe water and cucumber really nice and then a sample of the washer with washer whiffs this one was in shimmer let me put you a few more this was the Christoph Robin Oh my gosh, I love Christoph Robin. This one was the brown one. It's um, supposed to be more volumizing. I like the white one better, but I love the scent. I know now that I only need a little bit. Gets really down into your scalp and kind of some, um, and really kind of scrubs. Gets all around the the hair follicles, really nice and clean. So Christoph Robin, and this one probably came in glossy box for this size. So again, I do like the white one better than this kind of brown one, but I would use either one again. And Madison Reed. This one was the conditioner. I might have the shampoo in another one. I go through more of the conditioner than I do of the uh, shampoo anyway. I probably go through two conditioners to one bottle of shampoo. Love the scent on this. And so, yeah, I get, get these every now and then. I use the Madison Reed hair dye, though I really don't know why. I should probably be just get get it at Walmart or Target but anyway love the medicine read I love the scent the fragrance and what we have here so this is a cleansing balm green tea pure by Yada could have been Ipsy but probably was Ipsy because it's probably a big size for um glossy box but I love using the cleansing balm say focus please so it just really just it kind of just melts everything off your face like on days that I do wear makeup which would be days days I do a video um it just kind of feels like it melts your makeup off before you even just start to wipe it with a, a warm water has a nice scent um yeah so I love getting cleansing bombs so um I would definitely get this again if I saw it in the add-ons trying to look at my time so we'll just do one more and then we'll these in for next time so this was an element oh and this is kind of like the same thing again LMS superfood and it's the same idea of like a cleansing butter a cleansing balm and 
as I said, these are some of my favorite, favorite cleansers. They just really feel like they moisturize your skin. It kind of soaks into your pores. It takes anything off. Like, I mean, even though I don't wear makeup every day, I've still got a moisturizer. I've still got an SPF. I put maybe a serum on, things like that, and vitamin C moisturizer. So it just kind of feels like you get everything off so that when you go to maybe relax with a mask or put, put some night stuff on, you just feel like you're starting with a fresh face. So again, that was the Elemis Superfood. And this one would have come in an Ipsy. You know, I, it might have been an add-on if it wasn't in the regular Ipsy. So anyway, that is everything that I'm going to do today. I've still got quite a stash in here and a couple of more bags to go. So we'll just kind of do some short videos here and there and throw them in. And again, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in on a Wednesday. And thank you for my helping hand here. We'll put him up here see if he stays there but he's going to fall down and he's going to want to grab something yeah he's fresh but anyway i want to thank you guys so much again oh and i've even got these black roses from timu i know i haven't showed them yet but yeah they are. i put them in this little vase and cut them down and i just thought that would be fun for a wednesday wednesday whether it's a wine diary or taking out the trash or whatever but anyway thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me it means so much to me and i appreciate you guys so much i hope you guys go out have a great rest of the week take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video